Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Today is BoxyCharm, and I'm so, so excited about this because I was so fortunate to be contacted by BoxyCharm this month, and they sent over their base box to me, and you guys know I love BoxyCharm. I've been getting BoxyCharm for probably... It's three or four years now. I've gotten a box every single month, um, if you didn't know, I'm sure you do. BoxyCharm is a beauty, makeup, skincare subscription box um, that is monthly. They do have two different choices. They have their base box, which I'm unboxing today for you guys at $25, and then their premium, which I believe is around $30. I will have all the details in the description box, though. And then um, seasonally, they have their Lux, which I also get. So every three months I get that one instead of the base box and it has more products in it and it is, um, it comes up to about $50. But all my BoxyCharm information will be down below in the description box. I am going to be doing a little bit of multitasking today with this one because I am going to be filming a little video for Instagram and TikTok. That's why you can see like a shadow back here is I have another stand over here with my phone so that I can kind of bounce back and forth, but I never like to miss my BoxyCharm unboxing videos on YouTube either. So I'm like, you know what, we're gonna do both and try to power through this. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox both of them because I do have two. I have the one that was sent to me and mine that I paid for. So it's gonna be a little bit like a PR versus paid for um, in a way too. So we're gonna unbox and then we're going to go ahead and throw everything on my face. Okay, so the first one is the one that I paid for. And this month is BoxyCharm Sweet Treats and it's really cute, it has candy all on it. Um, Natasha Denona collabed with them this month, and there's a Natasha Denona palette in every box, I believe in every box. I got the, a is it Ayana palette? They all come, I think, in like this uh, brown packaging. Let me open it. Um, and it looks like this. This is their like, um, I don't know. I feel like she has so many different sizes. Like she has big ones and then a little bit smaller ones that are still like over a hundred dollars. Um, but she has like her minis that are like 20 something dollars. These are the next step up. So these are like, I believe, yeah, $48. These retail for $48. This is the one that I got. I think it's really pretty. Um, I was really hoping to get the one that had a little bit more color in it, but I absolutely love Natasha Denona's formula and I have the Camel palette that's this size, and it's neutrals as well, and I love it. It's one of my favorite neutrals palettes. So this one is definitely neutral as well. It's just a little bit darker, and I love those dark shades, so I'm excited about it. This one kind of has like a shift of green too, and you guys know I'm all about that, so I'm really excited to have this. Like I said, it is $48. The next product that I got in my box is a tinted moisturizer. I've been getting so many base products and I'm like obsessed with that. Um, so I'm going to be trying this out today for the sake of my boxy charm unboxing, but just like I did last time, I believe with the uh, four in one tinted moisturizer from Pure Cosmetics, I went ahead and tried it on in my boxy charm video and then later on I came back and did a full wear test video on that product. And I will do the same for anyone who wants to know how it wears throughout the day and all of that. I'll come back and do a full video just on this product, but I've never tried any base products from Studio Makeup before. This is their tinted moisturizer. It's formulated with hyaluronic acid. It's supposed to be hydrating, firming, and you're supposed to have a youthful effect. Um, this is what the product actually looks like. It's a pretty good size squeezy tube and there is a pump. And shade wise, I did swatch a little bit on my hand when I first got my box in. I'm a little nervous about it, but at the same time, it's a tinted moisturizer. It looks like it shears out a little bit, so I think I'm gonna be okay. But I did get the shade, I don't know, is the shade not on the packaging? That's weird. I don't see the actual shade on the packaging, but I'm sure there's like sh different shades. You know, I'm honestly not quite sure. Um, I also see that this says boxy exclusive and that to me is a little strange because I don't know why a tinted moisturizer would be exclusive, but 
We'll try it out. If it is an exclusive, hopefully BoxyCharms carries it like on their like sale and stuff so that people who are falling in love with this can still get it. <laughs> um, but this does retail for $35. We'll come back to it. Um, the next product I got is another Eloise Beauty. And you guys know from my Boxy Lux video last time, I wasn't a big fan of the Eloise brush, the, the fancy one that was like in the box, like the Kabuki brush. I honestly wasn't a big fan of it. I haven't tried it since, so we'll see. Um, this might actually be a good product to use that with instead um, of my face. I just don't really care for the application it gave me on my face, but this is perfect for summertime coming up. This is their Get Gleaming Body Glow. So yes, this is one of those like body highlighters, um, liquid highlighters at that, that I think it was like what two or three years ago that summer we literally seen every single brand come out with their own This one is really pretty though. It does have like a glow effect um, A gold glow is what I was trying to say effect to it. So hopefully it's not like too Dark, but what I was reading about this is that it can be applied on the face as well So it does have a nice pump. It is a glass bottle. I really appreciate that Definitely it's an oil base. Um, it does blend out though, so I think it'll be actually really pretty on the skin. No matter what skin tone you have, I think it'll be pretty. But um, this is the shade Champagne Rich, and I'm actually really excited for products like this. That is retail for $38. And then moving on, we have the Flirtatious Looks Cosmetics Monarch Lash Pack. So it is a pack of two eyelash eyelashes. They are different styles, which I really like that. I like that we have two, but they're two different styles. One of them kind of is a little bit of a lighter lash. It's kind of smaller in the front and then kind of flares out, which I love. And then the other one is full on glam city. And there's also an applicator like tweezer, um, applicator, <laughs> I cannot talk, um, that comes with it. So, oh, it's actually really nice. It's like a metal one. I already have one of these, but that is really nice. It's just like the one that I have and I literally can't apply lashes without that anymore. I love them so much. Um, these do retail for $38 as well. And then the last product in my box that I bought is the Pierre de Mars, I think is how you pronounce that. I, I'm butchering it, I'm sure. But this is their 008 Redition Body Cleanser. Um, so yeah, this is a body cleanser, which I can appreciate. I'm usually not bad in like the winter when I'm cooped up inside all the time, but when I start getting out into the sun, I'm wearing a lot more of SPF, sunscreen, and that type of ordeal, and I pull it down my chest and I always break out. It's never like a rash um, with the ones that I really like, but I still will get those clogged pores and acne from it. So I'm actually really excited to try this. It retails for $22 and I feel like this is a really good size tube. It feels very full too. And it's just like a gel consistency, it's clear. There's a little bit of a fragrance there, but it's not strong whatsoever. It actually feels very, smells very light and subtle. So I really like that. It says it has ingredients uh, like coffee and rosemary extract um, to tone, purify, and protect the skin while aloe vera uh, nourishes and softens it. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. All of the uh, retail value and all of that will be in the description. Okay, now we're going to move on to the PR box. Okay, so for this box, we have the same exact palette. So I'm actually going to be setting this aside, maybe doing another giveaway soon, and I will have one of these little Natasha Nonona palettes in it because I don't need two of them. And I really do like the formula on these. I also got, I forgot to mention the Peak palette that I got like last fall through BoxyCharm and Natasha Denona and I love that palette as well. I have a whole blog on it, but I'm gonna set that one aside. That does retail for $48 like I mentioned earlier. The second product is the Touch and Soul Icy Sorbet, Sherbert, however you wanna pronounce it, primer. And I really like this. I already have it because I bought it from the BoxyCharm pop-up, so this is another item I'm going to set aside, but I have mine right here that I've already been using for a few weeks now. I actually mentioned it in one of my videos um, in the past whenever I first started using it. I think I actually tried it for the first time on camera, so you guys know it looks like a thick, um, I don't want to say like silicone because I'm pretty sure this says silicone free if I'm not mistaken. 
but um, yeah, silicone free. But what I'm trying to get at is it looks like one of those thicker silicone primers, like consistency wise. But as soon as it warms up to your skin, it like is just this very cooling icy filling and it just like melts into your skin like it turns into like a liquid. It is so cool, so satisfying. I'm really liking this primer. It does retail for $32. Then we have the Mally Beauty Evercolor Shadow Stick Extra. I feel like I've already done this because if you follow me on Instagram, I already unboxed this on my stories. So I feel like I'm just kind of repeating myself, but <laughs> I wanted to do it here for you guys too. Um, but yeah, this is a shadow stick. You can use this for um, an all over just color um, and call it a day. You can use this as eyeliner and you can also use this as an eyeshadow base. And that is probably what I'm going to be doing today because it is the shade Ivory and it's literally just like a yellow tone, lighter skin tone color. And that retails for $25. Then we have the Laura Geller Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipstick. And I think it's so cool that this is a baked lipstick. The, if you've seen on my stories, like it is so cool, like the actual bullet lipstick. It almost looks like a dragon egg or something. That's what the like little scale design on it reminds me of. Um, but it's just a really pretty deep lipstick. And once swatched, it is kind of like one of those not sheer, but very like glossy like lipstick. So I actually really like that. It's in the shade Broadway Plum, pretty plum color. And I like the sculpting effect that it like really is going to hug your lips when you're applying this lipstick. I'm really excited to finally swatch it on my lips, not just my hand today. It retails for $21. And then the last product is this super cute palette from KNDR or Maybe it's called Kin Kinder Beauty. I'm not really sure, but um, this little palette here, this is the Unicarton. It is their Kinder Glow Highlighting Palette. That's the only reason I'm thinking maybe it's not KNDR and just Kinder Beauty. I'm not really sure though. I'm not too familiar with the brand, but this is the actual packaging. It's pink. It has like a gold reflect with the logo. And then there was a little slip in here. There's a mirror. And then there's four highlight shades for different skin tones. It is super cute. The top two, I think, are really going to work with my skin tone. And this one over here is a very powdery... I know it sounds bad, but it's not a bad thing. Like, it's such a unique formula. It's so soft. Um... I've just been like intrigued ever since I swatched it. I'm like, I, I gotta use that. I gotta put it on my face. <laughs> but this only retails for $15, which I feel like is such a good deal for four highlighters. Again, all details um, on retail value will be down below so you can see which one retailed for more or where that kind of stands. I'm actually pretty impressed with both of them. I mean, we have a Natasha Denona palette in these boxes that retail for $48 alone when these are $25 boxes. Um, I'm really excited that I got a tinted moisturizer in my base box or my, you know, paid box. Um, but I'm really excited to have the highlighter palette from my... PR box as well. So I think I got some really good products in both of them. If this is what you came for, thank you so much. If you want to see um, all this on my face, then keep on watching. Again, I'm going to be bouncing back and forth a little bit between my video over here and you guys. So um, we're going to start with priming our face and I'm going to be going into the touch and soul. Like I said, like once it literally touches your skin, you can like feel how cold it is, but it is just like, I don't know, it's like very mesmerizing. I feel like that's a really good word for this product. And then it literally just like, when you apply it, it just melts right into the skin. It's so nice. And I feel like it just leaves such a flawless base. Since we don't have a brow product, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off camera and do my brows real quick, and then I'll be back to do eyeshadow. Okay, a little light natural brow later. Let's jump into eyeshadow. I'm gonna be putting base down, which is going to be the shadow stick. I want to be able to use this to create the look that I'm going for with this palette, and that is going to be kind of a smoky uh, wing liner moment. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to take some concealer. I just have a little bit of my Age Rewind from Maybelline right here. I'm just going to kind of pat this down. 
The only reason I'm doing this is because I have really intense veins on my lids. So I just want to kind of conceal those and then not have to worry about them like showing through the look. The hard part with this color is because I don't really go into a lot of like just straight on ivory shades for eyeshadows like this. I feel like this is really meant to be a base, which is great. But me, I feel like if I took this ivory tone all over my lids, it would be a little bit too yellow up by my eyebrow bone. So because of that, we are going to hold off and use it more towards the end. So I'm going to start off with a blender brush and I'm gonna be going into this shade right here, which is called Harlow, starting a transition. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlight shade right over here, that more powdery one I was talking about. I think it's called, I wanna say Angel. It's one of those where it's like on the back of the palette so you don't know if it's like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm gonna take this right on the brow bone and very inner corner, it's very pigmented. And then going back into the blender brush, we'll just blend around that so there's no um, harsh lines. We're pretty light with the transition. It's a little bit deeper just in the outer corner, which I'm trying to match up really well. But it's just to give a little bit of definition because the full on moment is going to be the smoky wing. So first I want to take this middle shade. It's kind of like a taupey pink. It's called Satin Skin. That sounds about right. Um, and I'm gonna swatch it real quick to see how dark. I don't think so. We're gonna go into it. I'm gonna actually use a brush just to kind of lightly put it down on the lid. I'm just gonna take it and place it on the more inner part of the lid, just adding a little bit of sheen there. But I'm kind of, you can kind of see like, I'm patting it in the inner part to make it a little bit more pigmented, but then I'm just kind of like fluffing it over here to where there's something, but it's not super pigmented over here because we're gonna have the shadow wing, so. Now I'm gonna be going into the shadow stick, and I think I'm going to actually apply this on a brush to go on. I may try it directly, but, it's not like a fine point or tip, so it'll be kind of hard to get like that winged out moment. I do have a bare face, so if we get a little bit of carried away, you guys know I can just clean it up before going into base products. I'm gonna start by applying this on the outer part just to kind of see how it applies. Okay, not bad. Yeah, the wing is just a little tricky because it gets so thick with this tip, but the rest isn't too bad. And I'm not even gonna take this wing all the way in. I'm just going to, I think, stop about right there. Have that thinner and then it'll get a little bit thicker. Something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. I actually feel like this is really cool and I would actually like to have a wing like this at some point with a look. I do think I wanna take it a little bit smoky. I wanna use some more of this beautiful palette today. But I really do like the look of this type of wing though with that shadow stick. Before the shadow stick kind of um, dries down on me because I'm not familiar with this consistency of the shadow stick or formula, I'm gonna go ahead and go into an angled brush with the shade Lash Line, which is exactly what I'm using this shade for. And I'm going to pat the shade all along that shadow stick base that I made. So I'm just going to take it and just start pressing it. Oh, it's sticking to it so perfectly. Like it's exactly what I wanted. So, so far I really like that uh, formula of that shadow stick. You can feel the tackiness as you press. I'm pressing so that I have less fallout. Now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm gonna jump into base and I'm going to be trying out the tinted moisturizer. Again, I will have a full wear test video coming soon on this. And I wish I knew the shade. If I can find it, I'll have it in the description box, but it hopefully it works out for me today. It does look a little dark first applying, but let's blend it in real good. It has a really nice scent to it. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, having scented products, but it smells like kind of tropical, like summertime. Kind of like it. 
Okay, so here is the product on. This is with no concealer. I didn't really take it up underneath my eyes, so ignore that area, but you can kind of see everything is pretty see-through. Um, I feel like if anything, it just kind of gave me like this little glowy dewiness, but not really any coverage, which I know for some is kind of like, ugh. But for me, it's not that big of a deal when I go into a concealer like Maybelline, which is really close to like my skin tone anyways. And I just kind of pat it around um, those blemish areas and really good on my under eyes to conceal those. You might get a little bit more coverage applying it with your hand. I'm not really sure. I don't like applying products with my hand, so I try to avoid it and just go on two tinted moisturizers, always with a sponge. I, I feel like I need a little bit more concealer on my under eyes, but besides that, it honestly doesn't look bad. I'm gonna go ahead and skip around a little bit to get a little bit more of my face done, and then we'll be back for the next product. Okay guys, I got a little carried away. Um, I went ahead and did pretty much the rest of my face. I really took the smallest amount of the lash line shade um, on my lower lash line, like the, the one that I used for like the liner. I used just a smidge down here on the outer corner, did mascara. I am wearing um, the top lashes from this lash pack in the style Baby Girl. It's the ones that are a little bit smaller in the front and then like fling out. Wing out, I guess is a better term than fling. <laughs> Wing out, and I really like it. It does cover up the liner moment a little bit, but at, at the same time, I feel like it kind of goes with it. And I was really feeling myself after I used this Lila B blush, which I picked up from the add on cell through BoxyCharm. And um, the shade is so intense, I was like, I'm never gonna be able to pull it off. It's so beautiful on the cheeks. I never knew I needed an orange blush so much in my life. Um, it threw me into a full uh, summertime mode. So I did a little bit of a faux freckle moment, tried to cover up a zit over here as well. <laughs> um, and here I am. So yeah, I also used the highlighter palette. I used the powdery, stunning shade that I used on my brow bone as well. And literally like glow from within, it's just, beautiful. Last thing is the lips and I don't really want to go this dark with this look but I'm just gonna take it there because this lipstick is so pretty. I may be over here a little bit because I do want to apply this on this video and any steps you guys missed I was recording over here the whole time so you can check out my reel um, for this look as well over on Instagram to see anything you may have missed here. Okay, it's a really pretty plum shade. I have to give it that. This is the completed look. Ugh, I love Shadow Wings so much and love how it turned out. Um, and I'm really, like, really in love with these lashes. Like, they are so comfortable. I did want to mention that they are handmade and cruelty-free, or I wouldn't be using them, but I really like them. They're so pretty. But let me know what you guys think, and also which box was your favorite. I like a good mixture of both. The tinted moisturizer will come back on, but honestly, I'm loving the way my complexion looks, minus some breakouts. <laughs> but everything else, I feel like looks really good. So, so far, so good. I will be back to do a full wear test on that. And yeah, I think that's everything. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, this is probably my favorite BoxyCharm look. I love how it turned out. I thought I was gonna gravitate towards the green in this, but I actually used every shade uh, besides the last two, um, that lighter brown and then the green. So I'll have to play up the green and my stories on Instagram or something like that. But I love that like taupey, what was it called? Um, satin skin. Yeah, that shade is just so beautiful. I love it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what box you think was better. I think both of them were really well. I'm happy with both of them and obsessed with this look. Thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video.